Hey everybody, so I just wanted to make this uh, video quickly, uh, under five minutes. Um, I just wanted to cover this topic really, really quickly. I wasn't really going to make this video. I wasn't going to, but when I when I saw it, and I, I just, it really, really resonated with me, and I needed to make this video. So, excuse me. Um, the Pope has come out, and he told this Chilean he had a he had a, a, a sit down with this gay this Chilean gay man and said that it is okay for him to be gay that God made him gay it's okay to be that way uh, and that it's okay to live that life and I want you guys to remember I want you guys to remember two things there is a condition and there is a standard. Now, I don't know. I'm not. In, I'm not entirely sure how many popes there have been. That falls under the category of the condition. Now, God's laws, His decrees, His ways, those are His standards. So, from the beginning of time until now. God's standard, his ways, his laws, his decrees, his standards have never changed. Hebrews 13 and 8 says that um, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So his his standards never change. Who who Jesus Christ said said he is never changes. His standard never changes. The conditions change. So policies change. Rules on earth may change. Um Doctrines on earth may change. They may try to twist the doctrine of Jesus Christ, but the standard of God never changes. So no matter how many times people try to say that it's okay to do this, it's okay to do that, it is not okay. If it doesn't line up with the standard of God and what the Word of God says, it is blasphemy. It is a. It is. It is. And you know the Pope is a scoffer. He's a blasphemer. He is. He is. He's a. He's a. a, a a sheep and he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He really, he really, really is. Um, I'm just going to go over three scriptures that are proof that it is not okay to live that sort of lifestyle. Um, two of which I I will probably quote. I'm going to quote, um, and one of which I may actually go to the scripture. Um, one of the scriptures is Genesis. I want. I, I wish that the Pope would actually sit down with a real true believer and have this sort of discussion because the things that he says is blasphemy so um genesis 1 and 26 says that let us make man in our own image let us make man in our own image and our and our likeness in verse 27 god says and he made man and he made male and female Male and female, not 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 four genders, not not millions of genders, not two, not not one gender. He made two genders. He made two sexes, one male and one female, because that is the way that that human that humans reproduce and 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 fill the earth. Now, he says that it's okay to be that way. And I'd like to take him to another scripture, quote to another scripture, Leviticus 18 and 22, which says, A man shall not lie down with another man as, with, as, as, as he should with a woman. And a woman shall not lie down with another woman as should with uh, a man. Okay. Now, the third scripture is 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. And I'm going to take you there because... This scripture shuts this all that he is, all that he says, all that he, um, just everything that the Pope said is going to shut everything down because it's that that not only not just the Catholic Church but the entire body of Christ should accept homosexual tendencies. That's what he that's what he said, not my words but his words. The the Church should accept all homosexuals. But that is that's not scripture. It says no in the word of God that it says that homosexuality is okay. Okay. 
Uh, King James Version, 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. So, what? And I love that. I love that. Jesus, I love that Paul, that, Jesus, that Lord spoke to Paul and he told Paul, don't be deceived. He was telling the Corinthians, do not be deceived because, because the Lord knew that there were going to be people later on down the line that are going to deceive people with this and they're not going to read the words that they're not going to have a relationship with Christ um, and they're going to be taught but with, with, with demonic uh, indoctrinations it says neither fornicators neither nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate effeminate means uh, a, a, a man or woman who takes on the tendencies and the characteristics of, of the opposite gender so you have a man who is acting, who is dressing up like a, a, a woman, who takes on the characteristics of a woman, who's acting like a woman, who, who's trying to be a woman, that they will not inherit the kingdom of God. And a woman who is trying to act like a man, who, who dresses up like a man, who, who, who is trying to be literally trying to change their gender and be a man, that is not of God, okay? nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Okay? Now, this shuts everything down. Because the Pope told this guy that it's okay for him to continue in his lifestyle because we, the church, the church, quote-unquote, should accept, uh, should accept everyone. And There is this whole, this whole climate of political correctness and inclusivity. God, I want, I'm going to leave you with this, guys. God is a God of love. God is a God of peace. He is a God of mercy and grace and forgiveness. But God is also a God of standard. And God hates when people take his word and they twist it. And they and they and they and they, they they conform it, and they uh and they just they just twist the word of God to meet their needs of their life. They twist the word of God so that the word of God can um it can it can justify their lives. It can justify their sin. And the focus scripture for today um was. Galatians 5 and 13, which says that that we are free, but we are, we are not supposed to use our freedom as an excuse to live in sin. So just because we are free does not mean that because I'm free, my freedom, I can use my freedom to cover up my sin. And this is exactly what the Pope is, is teaching. He is teaching a doctrine that is going to lead many people to hell. But I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, it is not okay. I don't care how how controversial it may seem. I don't care how how uh how how just I don't care how silly it may seem. I don't care how how old fashioned it sounds. This is the word of God. And if people would go on television Christians, I know there are Christians who really take a stand for Christ, but if every Christian who who go on television and take the stand for Christ and, and really understand that you don't have to compromise the word of God. You don't have to say something that is going to win the crowd over. And I want to leave you with this. Would you rather be a friend of God and, an, and be an enemy of the world than be an enemy of God and be a friend of the world?